Um, this tutorial will be on F scan, F and text scan. So those are two functions, uh, two advanced functions I would call them, compared to F get L and F get S, which uh, they only read one line, and you have to put them inside while functions so that they would, uh, they would read through the whole file, and you would also use something called F E O F in order to understand when you reach the end of the file. All right. That was the that was the primitive functions that we have talked about. Now we are using f scanf and text scan. So first of all, what is text f scanf? How do we use it? Well, first of all, we need to open the file, right? So how do you open the file? Let me change the color here to one of my favorites, uh, turquoise. Here we use this. This is a variable you can call it anything. It's fid, file identifier, so that we could understand. Actually, let me write it. File identifier sorry my dots are almost invisible identifier so we use uh, id and f and this is f open so that we will have a file opened and this is my file so let me show you what my file looks like where am i all right it's here so this is my file um 2.0 a 8.7 b 9.3 x my file txt so in the first column, uh, first or first column, we have, well, I would call first column, we have a float, and the second column, we have a char. So how do we do that? First, when you're defining uh, fscanf or using it, you need to make it equal to something. This is mat. I'm, I'm going to make it equal to matrix. That will be my variable. Then you use fscanf, and fid is our variable, so that we will understand which file is open and which file we're going to scan through. Format is what kind of format is this? So let me do it here instead of just going back and forth. Here, as you see, oh, oh my God. As you see, the file is here, right? 2.0 and A here, right? So 2.0 is a double. So we need to use F, percent F. And A is a char. So we're going to use percent C. So it will be more like this. F, I, D. Format is percent F and here's an important rule you see there is a space here right so you're going to use C with a space in between space let me type here because F space this is really important if you forget it forget that uh, the problem will uh, just the weird things will happen all right I haven't tried it I don't want to try it and the dimension is the last thing so the thing with F scanf is that, uh, as you can see here, we have uh, five rows and two columns. It's going to convert rows into columns, so we will have something like this. Long columns, all right? It reads everything into a column like this. And uh, so you can have as many as many rows as you want, but your uh, your row or your columns should be uh, should be known so in our case we know there will be two rows since it's reached into columns with two and we don't know the exact number of columns there could be anything so we're gonna make it two inf inf means infinity so let me close that like this so we can use it once we're done working on this thing what we do is this we write this function and we close the file so we say we f close I'm sorry f I always write the same wrong way. F close, then uh, you're you right. What I actually forget the code, but I assume it was something like this. My file. txt. I hope I'm not wrong. All right, this was the code. Okay, great. So uh, let me try it out in the code. So let's say F open. Uh, I'll make it equal to FID, F open, uh, my, sorry, F open, my file.txt, which is here, as you can see it. All right, FID is equal to three. The number will increment as when you open more files. Okay, CLC. Um, so let's scan it to a file or variable called matrix, F scan F. As you remember, it was FID first, our variable. It could be anything. 
but I like to call it FID. Then first look at here, right? It's float, so float F, then it's empty space, then C. Then two, which is our uh, dimension for rows, and I think we're done. I probably have forgotten something. Let me look at it. All right. I think it should be like this. I always forget single codes. All right. As you can see here, 2, 8.7, exactly right, 9.3, 4. Point. Wait a second. It's 97, 98, 120. What happened here? Well, what happened here is that it's it converted our chars into their ASCII values. So we need to convert it back, right? Char, we're going to use char matrix. It's what it's called. And we only want to convert the second row, right? Not the first row. We're not going to touch. We're not going to touch the first row. So let's write it out. You can see A, B, X, W, E. Fabulous, right? So you're done with that. Let me open the file again. F open. Uh, what was the name of the file? Actually, I'm going to go back and call it uh, FID F open. You see it's four now. Well, it's increasing because I didn't close the file. Um, let me try a text scan now. So there is an important dis distic distinction between F scan and text scan, right? So here. Uh, I hope I won't delete that whole thing. When we are writing text scan, here's what we don't care. We don't care about dimensions. We don't, we just don't want it, right? So let me write it like that. All right, this is format, format stand still, FID format. And now um, what text scan does is that, let me write here, text, text, scan. What text scan does is that it it reads into a salary. So, um, for example, well, actually, I'm going to just do that so you can see it better. Matrix is equal to text scan, or let me sell matrix cell is equal to text scan, and of course, scan our file identifier FID, and what was it? F space C again. So you see. 5 times 1, 5 by 1 double, and 5 by 1 char. So let me get into those salaries to see what's inside of them, right? So we're using curly braces here. So as you can see, this is exactly what I want, just like what I wanted. And I'm going to also look inside this. All right, fabulous. I'm going to do one more thing, and I believe this is much better, all right? So let's say matrix cell. This is metric cell X. This is an this is an upgraded version. Let's call it uh, again. Text scan uh, FID again. The same thing. Same drill. Uh, I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna try something different. Point uh, point one. I guess it was point point two F and a space. I forgot single code here. Uh, F a space C. All right, we're done. Uh oh. I think I made a mistake by putting that too, so let's forget about it. I was planning to planning to do something that didn't work out. All right, um, that's really all about it. Um, you can try out different functions, different um, uh, different variations of this. And I remember that in one of the examples, in one of the projects that I was assigned to, I had some circuit elements and their different values and their nodes and we had to read it from a file and print out the value to a GUI. So that was a more advanced one, but I used text scan because I believe it's much easier to work with instead of converting every uh, every number, not every number, but every character into uh, the character because it was uh, output as ASCII character, ASCII value, sorry.